I've seen that a lot of players are still experiencing low FPS problems and because of that I will try to help you with some settings and tweaks that should help you get better performance. Make sure to watch the video until the end and don't forget to like and subscribe. With all that said, let's start. The first settings are going to be in the NVIDIA control panel that you can open with right click on the desktop like I did. After it opened you can click on adjust image settings with preview and select use my preference emphasizing. After that, drag the line until you hit performance. And now press apply. Once you are done with that, you can press on manage 3D settings. Scroll until you find OpenGL rendering GPU, and then select your graphics card. Now go to power management mode and switch from optimal power to prefer maximum performance. And the last one here is the texture filtering quality that you have to switch from quality to high performance. After finishing with these three settings you can press apply. Now we will go to configure surround. Here you will switch from auto select to your graphics card again. And now apply. Now we will move to change resolution. Here you have to put your default resolution that your monitor has and then select the maximum refresh rate. The next and the final setting from NVIDIA control panel will be at adjust desktop size and position. Here you will select the scaling mode to full screen. Now you will apply. Now I will show you how to make the CS2 run at high performance. In the search bar type game mode settings, activate game mode and then go to graphics settings. Now press on browse and you will have to get to this folder. To get here you will go to the partition where your CS2 is installed. Now press on program files x86. And now Steam. Then Steam apps. Then common. Counter strike global offensive. Then game. Now bin. And the last is win64. Now press on CS2 and then press Add. After that you will go to Options and select High Performance, then Save. Now I'm going to show you some launch options and one setting on Steam. Go on Library, right click on Counter-Strike 2 and go to Properties. Here you will type the launch options, and I will also put them in the video description so you can copy and paste them easier. And now you will go to Installed Files and Browse. After that you will have to get to the folder where the CS2 is and right click then properties on it. Go to compatibility and disable the full screen optimizations, then press on change high DPI settings. Now check the override high DPI scaling behavior, now press ok then apply and again ok. Simply launch the game and let's make the in-game settings that are the most important. Go to video. Here, the display mode has to be set to full screen. And now the refresh rate need to be set to maximum possible. Now we will go to the advanced video tab. The boost player contrast should be enabled. Wait for vertical sync should be disabled. And the video values preset to custom. 
The anti-aliasing mode should be at least 2x MSAA, but I keep it to 4x. The global shadow quality have to be at least high, because it helps you a lot to see the player's shadows when they peek. The model or texture detail should be set on low. You should set the texture filtering mode to bilinear. Set the shader detail on low, and also set the particle detail on low. The ambient occlusion should be disabled. The high dynamic range should be set to quality, because if it is set to performance, you will see some small points like bed bugs on textures, and I will show you how it looks. And now I will show you how it looks on quality. Here, the Fidelity FX Super Resolution help you to see the game clearer, but reduces the performance. I will suggest you to lower it to the balanced or performance if you really can't play because of the low FPS, but I will let it at highest quality. And the last one is the NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency that should be set to enable plus boost. And now let's see the FPS before and after the tweaks. I hope that my guide was useful for you, and I look forward to hear many ideas for other videos in the comments. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and the like button. See you next time.